That's right, you better love it. <laughs> bless the Lord. Hallelujah. How is everyone doing? God bless you. Today. You know, nowadays I always I'm always here for like an hour because I have to rush, go for work. So God bless you and may God protect you. May God cover you with the blood of Jesus. How was your day? My week was fine. Mandela, how are you, my darling sister? God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. This morning. Oh, my soul. Hey, worship is holy name. Hey, sing like never before. Bless the, whole, uh, bless the name of the Lord today. You know, today there are so many people that have died. There are so many people that have left this earth. Right now, we have a privilege that God has given us. This morning, we have a privilege. We are strong. We look beautiful. We look, despite, you know, I know the saloons are closed right now. <laughs> people are not doing their hair. But despite of that, uh, as you can see, I've just tied myself. <laughs> No, I've just tied myself. Regina, how are you? God bless you. So, uh, so you just have to do whatever you can do. And uh, despite of all these things, we have the life we have. We are able to breathe. We have children. We have some of us. We are married. Some of us. We are waiting for marriage. Some of us. We are in a relationship. Some of us. We are engaged. All these things, but. And we are still alive. That's the most important thing. And God has been faithful. I know some of you, we are not working, but we are eating. God is providing for us. Somehow, somehow we are eating. So uh, for me, eh? oh, my soul, worship is holy name. Hey, seen like never before. Oh, my soul, worship his holy name. Hallelujah. God bless you, Lalisa. How are you? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lala, mommy, God bless you all. So, <clears throat> so you know, I have a message today. The title is that Stay Connected. Makuraba Sataraba. Hallelujah. I hope my music is not too loud. Hallelujah. So, you know, God, God has been faithful. God has been, uh, been amazing. When we, we talk about what is going on around the world, my music, is it too loud or I should reduce it? When we talk about what is going on around the world, when we talk about, we see how people are dying, we see... We see when we watch on TV, there are very, uh, there are so much uh, disturbing news and everything. But at the end of the day, if you know, you know where you stand. Nothing shakes you, though you hear to those news. It will not shake you. The only thing that will give you confidence is for you to stand and pray and tell God. Allow, uh, and the only thing you have to do is that the many reason that you have life right now is to stand and intercede for others. Is to stand and um, uh, is to stand and talk and and pray for those people who are hopeless. You know, the one thing don't we shouldn't play with life. Sorry. We shouldn't we shouldn't take this life that we have. So you can. You know, I'm listening from YouTube. So we shouldn't take the life that we have for granted. Hey, sorry. Okay. We shouldn't take the life that we have for granted. Every day, every mom, every morning you wake up, just sit down and say that, Lord, I know sometimes some of us may be complaining, Lord, I have nothing to eat. But when you sit down, just think about 
all these other things that God has been faithful. Let us not forget the other good things that God has been to us. Let us not forget the other good things that God has done for us. Let us not forget if right now you don't have food, there was a time in your life that you did not have food and God provided for you. So if the same God that was able to provide for you then is the same God that can provide for you now. The same God that was able to keep you then, that's the same God that can keep you now. He's, he never fails us. He will never fail us. See, eh? our relatives can fail us. Our parents can fail us. Even the government right now, many people are, the government are right now, whatever is going around, the government has no power. Like they don't know how they can help the nations. But at the end of the day, we have to trust God. The Bible says those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that can never be shaken, that can never be moved. So as a child of God, as long as that you are alive right now, even if you lock yourself in the house, just know that it's by the grace of God. It's not it's not corona that is killing people, uh, the only disease that is killing people right now. There are a lot of poor as they are in their house, they just get sick of headache, they die, they just get of uh, stomach ache, they die. But in as much as we are uh we are quarantined, yes, we are quarantined, the grace of God is still keeping us. My God. Hi, Chris. How are you? God bless you. So I just want to encourage somebody. Don't feel down. Don't feel left out. You know, when you see, even us as believers, when you see somebody goes out, pull them out. Because that's what we are here for, to encourage one another in this kind of situation. So before I go far, because <clears throat> my, my, my message today, because by nine I have to be done and go. So, but the message for today, I've titled it, Stay Connected. God bless, hallelujah. Stay connected. Stay connected. Many other times, you find that when we disconnect ourselves from some things, I'll give an example of a tree. When a branch is con disconnected out of a tree, you do not expect it to produce. You can never expect a, 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 a branch to produce when it's off the tree. Many of us, we are disconnected from where we are supposed to be. We are disconnected. You are disconnected from God. You are disconnected from what the word of God says. You are disconnected. And you find that at the end of the day, we want to produce more fruit spiritually. We want to produce more fruit. We want to be, we want to be, we want to do greater things. But we can never do greater things if we are disconnected to the source of the great. <laughs> so... Let me open in the book of uh, uh, John 15. John 15. The Bible says, John 15, I'll start from 1 up to 9. The Bible says, I am the true vine. Uh, I am the true grapevine. My father is the gardener. He, th he cuts off every branch of mine that does not produce fruits. And he, uh, and he prunes the branch that do not bear fruits so that they will produce even more. You may, you, may have, you may have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. For the branch cannot produce fruit if it, does, if, if it is not severe. Uh, sorry. The branch cannot produce fruit, cannot produce fruit if it is not uh, severed from the vine. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. The Bible here is saying that we have to remain in Christ. If we want to produce fruit, if we want to be great, if, we, if you have been seeing yourself as a great person, you have been seeing yourself as a, as a man, as a woman, as a girl that God is taking, is taking far, the only thing that will make you, will give you access for you to go on a higher and a level that you see yourself is when you still remain connected in God. Many of us, many people want to produce fruits. Many people want to be great. Many people want to, to do signs and wonders. Many people want to walk in the power and in the grace of God. But they, they are not connected to God. They are not connected to their creator. How, okay, how do you expect to walk in power? Because if you are not connected to God, how do you expect to walk in healing? If you are not connected to the source, to the healer, how do you, oh my God, how you man of God, Lucy, God bless you. So how do you expect to be productive if you are not connected to the source? And parabasata. So even here, even here, Jesus was was saying a parable that remain in me and I'll remain in you. And when you remain, you, you remain in me, you'll be able to 
produce. You'll be able to produce more fruits. You'll be able to excel. You'll be able to become that kind of a person that you want to be. See, eh? if you are a rabba, soon a rabba. Okay, before I go there. So, as a child of God, as somebody that go, you see yourself great. As you see yourself going to the next level. As you see yourself being a great person that you have been called to do. Remain in God. Stay connected to the, uh, to the, to the source. Stay connected to the vine. We are the branches that are connected to Jesus. And the moment we disconnect ourselves, you find that you become powerless. You, you fail to function in what God is calling you or what God wants you to be. Okay, let me continue. Five. Yes, I am the vine and you are the branches. Who, who, who's who? Sorry. Who's who in me? Uh, sorry. Those who remain in me, those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruits. For apart from me, you cannot do nothing. So the Bible here is telling us we have to remain in Christ. We have to remain in, in him. Because if we disconnect ourselves, we can never produce anything. You cannot be productive if you disconnect yourself from God. Therefore, we have to remain in Christ. We have to abide in him. We have to be in him. Because everything that we manifest, it's about him. Everything that we speak, it's about in him. Even when you are talking, you, 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 you are talking about miracles. When you are able to perform miracles out of the ways of God, out of the will of God, that's witchcraft. But uh, that's witchcraft or fake power. But if you're able to do and work according to in the way and the, uh, uh, and operate and be connected in the ways of God, you become you you start looking like Jesus. You start doing things like Jesus. You start operating like Jesus because the Bible says that. When Jesus was uh, uh, was now ascending, going to to the Father, what did he say? That he was telling his disciples that you, if you believe, you even do greater things than I did. You do greater things than I did. So meaning that, where are your carabas so terrible, Satan? Hey. You know, you know that when you, you when you remain in Christ, He gives you the ability, He gives you the strength to do and operate in His ways. You are, you find that when you 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 are seeking to pray, you want to study the Word of God because that's the source. That's the source of our power. That's the source of how we exercise what God has put in us. So we have to stay connected to the vine. We have to stay connected to the vine because if we are disconnected. The vine, we are nothing. There's nothing that we can produce if they if we are disconnected from the vine. My God, Rabba Suta Rabba Sata Yeketo Robo Sata. So let me go to, 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 to six. And anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and wither. Such branches are gathered in power to be burned up. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for anything. You may ask for anything you want and it will be granted. When you, produ when you produce much fruit, you are the true disciples. This brings great glory to the father so here the bible says if you remain in christ you produce even greater fruits more fruits when you remain to the you, you remain connected to the vine you become productive you pro, you produce so much see because people many people most of people they want shortcuts they find that they connect themselves they go out there to connect themselves with a, a negative powers they connect and one thing that you have to know that if 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 you are a branch and you're not connected to the real source, what happens? Anything that you connect yourself to, it will one day fade. It will one day fade. But if you connect yourself to the real source, because that's the real source, there's nothing fake about it. Everything that it produces, it's real. Everything that it, it brings forth, it is real. So when you are, you, you'll be able to manifest in the real miracles. You'll be able to manifest in the real power. You'll be able to manifest in the real, in, in, in the real grace of God. You'll be able to do things without, with, without forcing it, without panicking it, because you know where you are connected to. Stay connected 
Many people want to be used mightily by God. Many people, but they are, they, they want to be used. They want to be great men. They want to be great women. They want to be those people that, that uh, they walk the, the surface of this earth. They want to be, live a, a, a legas and everything. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, the only way for you to survive as you go on higher and higher is when you connect yourself in the ways of God. When you connect yourself to the source. Many people want to go and get power from the witch doctors. They want to go and get power from the voodoo people. They want to get so that they, sh they can sustain their ministry. They can sustain what God has put in them. As long as at where they are connecting them so themselves, that power is not from God. They want their fall. Masuta Rabasata. See, any power that you get from a fake, uh, can I say, a fake producer, it's not real. It's not, it is fake. So you find that you start operating in fakeness, you start, uh, and, and let me tell you, for you to abide in Christ, you are required to do some things. And what are those things? You have to study the word of God because that's what makes you to become what God wants to be. You have to, when for you to abide in Christ and grow, you have to pray. People are lazy in prayer. They are, they are lazy in studying the word of God. They are lazy in, in, in doing some exercise. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are lazy in doing some things that, in, in some things that we are told to, lazy to pray, lazy to fast, lazy to, actually, they, are, they, they, they don't practice their spiritual they don't make it in, they don't put it into exercise. So you find, but they are in a hurry of producing, they are in a hurry of wanting to be great. So you find that you can never, you can never go to a certain extent that God wants you to, to go if you want to fake everything. See, this Christianity thing, it's all about work. It's all about work. It's all about work. You work yourself. You work yourself. You work yourself. Work yourself spiritually. Work yourself in the things of God. Seek, uh, uh, find your term. Lock yourself in the presence of God. Pray. So if you do not want to pray and you want God to use you mighty, then that is impossible. Because the, how, because how are you, because that's the only way that makes you, makes, uh, that's the only way that connects you to the source. You, we have to remain connected. If you disconnect yourself to the source and you want to produce more fruit, it cannot work. Then what, if any fruit that you produce, see, eh? If you are saying that you are connected to a mango tree, I'm just giving an example to a mango tree. Uh, you, are, you are connected to the mango, you are connected to a, an orange tree and you produce mango tree, then there's a problem. So many people, we are connected to Christ. We say that we are connected to Christ. But the fruits that we produce are not of those of Christ. Our mouth, they speak of Christ. Our mouth, they speak about Jesus. Our mouth, they proclaim about God. But at the end of the day, when people look at the fruits that are in us, they are not of Jesus. They are not of God. The fruits that are in us are not of the Holy Spirit. So you can never, you can never say, I'm, I'm, I produce Christ, but your fruits, because every tree, there are some trees that look similar. I don't know if for you have come across a mango tree, uh, a, an orange tree, and there are lemon tree. These trees, they look the same. And the, also, and the only way for you to know they look the same, they, are, they, they smell the same, they've got the same smell if you, when you smell them. And the only way that you can, pro, you can differentiate you can differentiate is when the fruit come out. That's when you'll be able to know, oh, this produces a mango tree that is sweet, a mango fruit that is sweet. The other one produces a um, uh, lemon tree, lemon fruit that is uh, sour. Is it sour? Yeah, that is sour or bitter. Which one? It's sour. So at the end of the day, you can be both saying that I am connected to the vine. I am connected to the real source. I am connected to Jesus. I am connected to, but the fruits will show what kind of a fruit that you are, what kind of a vine tree that you are connected to. You can, we can claim it. We can speak it. But if we do not produce it, then it means that whatever that we are claiming is fake. We have to remain connected to the source. If we remain connected to source, every fruit that we produce then, it will show. So as a child of God, as a, as a child of God, I came to ask you, are you still connected to the vine? Some of us, we come, oh, I love Jesus with all my heart, my soul, my body, my what, my what, my what. But our actions are not of God. Our behaviors are not of God. See, many of us, many people hide from uh, they hide from this, 
uh, Christianity things. They hide into these Christianity things so that they should not be noticed. But when people look at you, the fruits that you are producing are contrary to the fruits that you are expected to, to produce. And the only way you are expected to produce, you have to produce the fruit of the Holy Spirit when you call yourself that you are a child of God. When you call yourself that you are anointed. When you, when you want to see yourself produce more. When you want to be more like Jesus. When you want to be more like him. When you want to talk like him. When you want to operate like him. When you want to do things like him. Stay connected. Don't run away from your Bible. Don't run away from the fellowship of God, you and God. Don't run away from the things that have to build your spiritual life. Don't run away from the thing, from prayer. Most of the people, we are in a hurry of wanting impartation. No, man of God, impart me. Man of God, woman of God, impart me. See, even the impartation itself, it will work when you, when you boost it up. You can, they can lay hands on you. They can be laying legs on you. Everything can be laid on you. But at the end of the day, the manifestation of what you are, you have to work it out. It's more like, a, it's, okay, I'll give an example. It's more like when you, you want to start a business, somebody blesses you with money. He can bless you, maybe I'm just giving an example, with a hundred dollar. And you want a business, they'll bless you with that. And it's you to now work it out by the help, of, by, by the grace of God, to work it out and invest it into, into business. Invest it into that so that it should, it should produce more. Most of the people, we think that just when men and women of God lay hands on us, quite okay, it is done. No, it is not done. There has to be a workout in your spirit. There has to be a workout in your spirit. Stay connected to what the word of God says. See? Even when somebody say, when a man of God says, a woman of God says that you are healed in the name of Jesus, your faith also matters. When we pray in the name of Jesus, be healed. You have to activate the healing. You have to activate that, what, that which God has put in you. You have to exercise the authority that God has poured inside you. you still, and the only thing that will help you, give you access to, to access what God has put in you is when you, you are connected to the vine. Many of us, are you connected to the vine? Are you still connected or you're just speaking it? We, it's not about speaking it. It's about you producing. It's producing what you're claiming. It's not about you saying that I'm connected to Jesus. Are you producing the Jesus like in you? I know we may not be 100%. We are human beings. Sometimes we go astray, we fall down. But there has to be, you, you, you work it out. You want to see yourself grow. You want to see yourself becoming great. You want to see yourself producing fruit. You want to be a kind of a person. You, want, you are seeing yourself that God is going to use, to use me mightily. But at the end of the day, for you to be used mightily, for you to be a warrior, for you to be an intercessor, an effective minister, an effective pre, uh, business person, you have to be connected to the vine. And Jesus is a vine. Many people are connected to, to human. Many people are connected to, to voodoo priests. Many people are connected to things that are not helpful. Things that are not going to help you. But at the end of the day, and if you are given those power, that power cannot last for a long time. Are you still connected to the vine? Are you still connected to the vine? Remain connected. Remain in Christ. And Christ remains in you. And he begins to operate. He begins to do things that you did not expect. You, you see yourself walking in signs and wonders. You see yourself walking in favor. You see yourself in operating in higher dimension. Why? Because you are still connected to the vine. We are the branches. See, Sometimes because we produce fruits, we produce fruits, we think as if we are the ones that are doing it. Let me, let me tell you one thing. I'll give an example of a tree, right? When the vine, the vine, I can see that the vine is that thing that is standing. Uh, the, uh, uh, okay, this is a tree, right? And these are the branches. I'll give an example. These are the branches. The, 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 the fruits don't come from the, the, this thing, right? It comes from the branches, the small branches. That's why the fruit comes out. So sometimes when we see ourselves producing a fruit, we, we are not greater than the, 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 the stem. I can give an example. We are not greater than the stem. Because if we are, in as much as we are producing fruits in us, we are the branches and producing fruits in us. We are producing fruits in us. The importance of us having this, uh, the importance of the, these, uh, the, these, uh, these, I'm giving an example these are the branches and this is a stem which is the vine so the importance of uh, the importance of uh, this is because of this without this 
we cannot have this. So many other times when we see ourselves producing fruits, when we are feeling ourselves producing fruit, we think that uh, it, uh, we are better than this. But just know that if you are not connected to this, this, you cannot have this. So as a child of God, we should... When we see ourselves producing fruit, let's continue holding on this. Let's continue holding on God. Because if we disconnect ourselves and get carried away by the things that we have, by the things that we are producing, by the things that we are able to have, you find ourselves that we start our, like, our, our, our productive starts. There will be no productive. Why? Because we are disconnected from the source. I came to encourage somebody today. Are you still connected? If you can sit down and think of your life, are you still connected? Are you still connected? Are you still connected in your prayers? Are you still connected in the studying of the word of God? Are you, are you still connected in the way you fellowship with God? Or are you, because every time you go, you pray, every time you soak yourself in the presence of God, every time you are there seeking the, the throne of God, every time you are growing, you are being pruned out. The, uh, you are being pruned out. God, uh, uh, God is pruning out the things that are not supposed to be new. Why? Uh, you know, it's so sad. Makura basokota katon. Hallelujah. Arabas, wait, I'm coming. Arabas sayata, arabas sunere de bosakato. Rekete. It's so. It's so. It's so. It's so, uh, it's so sad when. Uh, when we, we say that, oh, God, I want you to use me. Father, I want power. I want this. What, let me tell you, power without uh, the real power of God is fake. Many people want to be, to be powerful. Many people want to be used to be called men of God, women of God. Many people want to do explosive signs and wonders. They want to make a difference on this earth. They want to make a difference on this surface of earth. They want to be, to, they want to make a, a name. They want to be. But let me tell you, for you to make a name, for you to, in fact, see, even God, Jesus Himself, He was still connected to the Father. He was still connected to the Father because He was able to talk what what God wanted, what the Father wanted Him to do, and He was able to operate to what. The father wanted him to do. So if Jesus himself defended, depended on the father, he depended on the father, what will stop us? What, should, uh, uh, what more us? What more us? What more you as a child of God? Build your faith. Stay connected in the word of God. Stay connected to the promises of the Lord. That's why most of the times people fail to, to, to take charge of the promises of God that God has put in their lives. Why? Because they don't know how to connect themselves to the word of God. What does the word of God say? For example, you are sick because you are not connected. You don't know the source of where you are connected to. You don't know You don't know your source of connection. What happens if you don't know your source of connection? That's why you start complaining. Oh God, why? God, why? You are a believer? You say you are a child of God. You say you carry the vine, you are, you, you, you are connected to the vine, you say, what does the word of God say about that healing? What does the word of God say about the situation that you're going through? The reason that we don't know what the word of God says about us, because we are not going to the vine to connect to what the, what the vine says, what God says about us, what God, what are the promises that God has made in your life? When somebody comes to mock at you, we are easy, easy able, we, are, we easily give up. Why? Because because we are not connected to what the word of God says. When non-believers are complaining that everything is going wrong, when non-believers are complaining that life is hard, you as a believer who's supposed to know who you are, the authority that you carry in your life, what is your confession? When everyone in the crisis, when everyone is saying things are wrong, you, you say that I, I, I'm more able, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. I don't care if the world is complaining that there's no food. You look at the, what the word of God says, because because you are connected to the vine. What the vine tells you, it the vine does not lie. The vine, the, and the true vine, this is Jesus Christ, and it does not lie. Whatever the word of God tells you who you are, that's what who, that's what you, you are. See, the devil, eh? Let me tell you what the devil does. The devil will come to you and tell you that uh, uh, I can bless you, I'll give you money, I'll give you all these things, and quite okay. You are given those things. 
But at the end of the day, they don't last long because that's not, he's not the source of those things. Because even the sources that they, the, the things that the devil claims that they are, they are his, they are not his because there's nothing that the devil made on this earth. There's nothing that the devil has created on this earth. There's no blessing that the, even the money that he brings, everything that he gives people, it is, it is not his own. It is not his own, but most of the time for us believers, we are too ignorant. Sometimes most of us, we are too ignorant from the word, what the word of God says. And that's why the enemy can come to us and lie, get our blessing, grab them. When, when, and, and, and most of the times he wants to capitalize on the words that you say about yourself. Sometimes when, when, when the Bible says, by his stripes we are healed, instead of you confessing, oh yes, I, by your stripes I am healed, by the stripes I'm healed, at the end of the day, you start saying, oh, you know, it's, it's normal, diseases, oh, it's okay, it's okay. As a child of God, as a child of God, you say that you are connected to the healer. And you are confessing negative upon your life. My God, if you do not know what you carry, if you do not know what God has put inside you, what will happen? Even you, you become careless in how you speak. And when you speak careless, the devil capitalizes your, 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 your words. The devil gets those words. Because sometimes eh, when the devil fails to hold uh, God's children, what does he use? He uses their own words. He makes them curse themselves and he uses those words and wake them, activate it. And sometimes when you do all this thing, you forget what you have done to yourself, you forget what you have said to your life. Masuka raba suta raba. You forget everything that you say about yourself and you start complaining, God, why is my life like this? Why is my life like this? Why? Because your confession is different from your from how your confession is different. If from how you should live, how you should grab things, makuraba sakato koraba sakata karaba suta rikato. Yeah, like Princess Dana said, the blessing of the Lord maketh no rich and addeth no sorrow. It's true. The blessing of the Lord, they are, it, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't hurt sorrow. So, because uh, as children of God, what is ours? The devil has claimed it. The devil are, is holding it, and we think that the devil has the best. But even what he has for uh, he has, it belongs to us. But the only thing is that one, we are not connected to the vine. And how do you know that you are not connected to the vine if you do not confess the word of God? If you have no relationship with the word of God, if you are, if you cannot pray, you feel lazy. Let me tell you. If you, I want to, I want to tell you, you know, for you to know that prayer is important. Haven't you come across the times you are praying? You feel you are praying, right? You feel lazy. You don't want to do it. Like you, you feel lazy when you want to pray. Like you become busy. Why? Because the devil knows that prayer connects you to the vine, and it makes you to become to become like the source of your power, the source, the, your creator. It makes you so. He makes sure that he, he gives, he, he he puts that laziness in you, not to pray, not to study the word of God. The moment you study, you get the word of God. You want to study, you sleep. You want to study, you sleep. Why? Because he's trying to disconnect you to from the vine he's trying to disconnect you and when you and he knows that when he disconnects you you remain alone and you cannot produce fruits when you are disconnected from what the word of god says what the word of god says you become powerless you cannot stand on your own you cannot you you cannot function on your own even when you pray there's there is dryness in the word of God that you produce. There is dryness in it. Why? Because you are disconnected from the vine. See, eh? Our productive, everything that we do, it has to be in line with the source. When you, connected your, when you connect yourself from what is not, uh, from what is not, real it is called fake the reason that there is a real power is because there is also fake power the reason that there are fake blessing because they are real blessing but it's up to you why you connect yourself to and if you have to work out the connection you have to work out the connection you have to go before god you have to soak yourself in the presence of god you have to listen to gospel music you have to build yourself build your capacity to grow Put, put, build your capacity to to digest more about the word of God. You, yeah, 
Digest more about his weight. Digest. You can. You never be cheated. See, eh? The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, but God comes to give us life and life in abundance. It is our decision for us to, for, to choose. Either we have to follow what the world says or we have to follow what the word of God says. I know we are in this crisis. We are in this crisis when coronavirus, everyone is complaining, everyone is afraid. What does the word of God tell you about fear? The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. When everyone is afraid, stand on the word of God. When, uh, when, the, when, when everyone is afraid, uh, since you are connected, to the vine, remain speak, uh, remain connected. If they say that no, we are going to die. Ah, yeah, baraba. So, see, eh? Let me tell you, there's a uh, most of people are calling me from home. Ah, Iveta, are you safe? Are you safe? I, me, do you know what I'm answering them? I'm answering them. I, I did not come all the way from Africa to America to come and die. <laughs> I did not come to Africa to come and die. That no, because the cases that side they are so serious. And I was like, just know that I did not come all the way from home to come here and die. Because why? I have put my confidence in God. Put your confidence in the Lord Jesus. Trust him with everything inside you. Believe in what the word of God says. Confess the word of God. For me and my house will serve the Lord. Me and my house will fulfill the purpose that God has put in our lives. Yes, the news is so disturbing. But whose report do you believe in? I believe in the report of the Lord. I, the report of the Lord tells me that I will live and not die. Until I will live and not die, I will declare the works of the Lord. I am not going to die without accomplish what God has put in my life. I will finish the, everything that God has said upon my life. I will finish it. Ah, I'm not here to do and finish business. Whatever that I've started, whatever that God is doing upon my life, I will finish it. I did not come here to, to die and go without doing what the purpose. I, 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 I did not come here to, fin, to make and finish business. Who am I speaking to? Are you still connected to the vine? Are you still connected or you are connecting you are connecting yourself so much the things that are not beneficial benefiting you spiritually spiritually you have to connect yourself to the vine many of us we think we are still connected to the vine when we are speaking uh, uh, we are speaking uh, this you know christianity acts in language oh god bless you oh i am blessed oh i am blessed it's not all about that makura basakataka it's not all about that your action will tell your, in, your inner man will convince you if you are still connected or not. Your fruits that you produce, because the spirit of the living God who produced the fruit, his spirit in him, you become like him, you talk like him, you act like him. See, eh? Sometimes, sometimes the way the world makes us feel, when you are quiet, they think that you are humble. When you are loud, you know, when you are loud like me, they think you are not humble. It's not about that. Humbleness, it's a fruit that is in you. Being loud, being being loud, being talkative, being loud or being quiet, it, 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 that, those are not the signs of humility. There are some people who are quiet, but they are very arrogant. They are very, they have attitudes. But there are others who are loud, but they are very, they, they, you can tell that this one, they have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. There are others who are loud, talkative, but they have no fruit of the Holy Spirit. There are others who are quiet, but they have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So remain connected. Connect yourself to the vine. So hear about the word of God. Listen to the preachers that you listen to. Those that build your spirit. Those that when you hear to your, your spirit is built. That's how you remain connected. See, do you know that even listening to the word of God, it's sacrifice. It's sacrifice. Imagine you go to church. Hours you are seated on the bench. Listen, it is sacrifice. Why? Because you are, you know that if I disconnect myself from the vine, I cannot stand. We are the branches. We have to accept that. We have to admit and know that we are the branches. And the only way we become fruitful is when we are connected to the vine. You cannot see the fruit from the vine, but the fruit of the vine is inside it. And it we manifest those fruits. Ayakaraba suta. Jikata. A mango tree. See, a mango is not is not the man the, the mango fruit is not the manifestation that it is a man. What can I say? A mango fruit. A mango fruit does not come out like just because it is a I'll give an example. This is a mango tree. This is a mango tree. These are the branches. I'll give the example. Maybe the nails, these nails are fruits. So for me, for you to know that this this the what I've produced 
is mango it's because of the uh, of the tree that is there because there are a lot of trees around the world there are a lot of trees and as i said there are some trees that look alike but the production the fruits that come out from there that's when you know that this is a mango. the mango does not start from the fruit the mango start from the it starts from the tree itself so if the if if uh, i mean the mango start from the tree itself not from the fruits that we see so if the ma the tree is not a mango don't expect a mango to come out from there because the inner man of uh, the the price of me 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 it's not a, 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 the the fruit that you see the fruit that you see in people is because of what they are connected to they are connected to it's not about what they produce but it's about where they connected to and when they connect when they are connected to the real source they manifest the 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 inner man, what can i say they manifest what is inside them what they are connected to that's what they manifest i came to encourage you i used to hear the bible as we read it are you re, are, is your life still in christ have you are you still connected are you still connected to your creator? Are you still connected to God? Are you still connected to him? Are you, if right now anything had to happen, are you still connected? When something happens to your children, are you still connected to God and hold God by his word? And say that, Lord, you said you bless the fruit of my womb. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my children, they are blessed. I pray for, oh, are you a kind of person that to busy complain? Oh, my children are foolish. Oh, my children are dogs. Oh, my children are useless. Oh, my children, are you? You are a child of God, and you say you are connected to the vine, and you say that you are connected to the source where you have to declare blessing, call upon your blessing. If you are you tell yourself when you say that things are falling apart, then you say that, Oh, my God, for you said in your word, a righteousness man can fall seven times, but you still rise. I am rising beyond my imagination. I am rising. Declare yourself because you know where you are connected to. See, the only, most of the things that gives us the confidence to confess what we confess is because we know our source. We know our source. Hey, if you have no confidence to your source, if you have no confidence to your source, hey, let me tell you, it will be hard for you to confess positive about you because you you don't even trust your source so as a child of god as a as a worshiper as a person that you call yourself you are you are born again you are a believer stay connected to the source because when you disconnect yourself to the source the devil will come and steal you the devil will come and destroy you the devil will come and kill you the only thing that, you know, the only thing, that, most of the times what the devil works so hard to do is to disconnect ourselves. Because when he disconnects himself, he comes to grab you. He comes. Because if you are still connected, you are always protected. If you are still connected, you are always covered up. If you are still connected, you are always backed up by, the, the, by, 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 by God. If you are still connected, when the devil wants to touch your life, he'll be like, oh, don't try. Don't, don't, don't. God will be like, don't, don't, don't even try. It. Don't go there. Eh, eh, eh. Don't go there. But if you are disconnected, which covering are you in? Which, that's why when God has put something inside you and the devil wants to attack it, your, maybe a ministry, maybe a calling, maybe anything that God, your business, as long as that you are connected to the source and your, everything that you are doing, it is pure. Let me tell you, they may try to bring you down. They may try to discourage you. They may try to pull you down. But God will be like, eh, 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 don't, don't even try that. Even when it happens, God allows it. See, I'll give an example of Job. When Job lost everything, Job had lost his children. God, Job had lost, and not that, not that God was not aware because Satan was unable to touch Job. He he went to ask permission from he went to ask permission from God. So when you're connected to the vine, there's nothing that the, the when you're connected to the vine, there's nothing that the devil can do to you unless if you go and consult God. Because you are God's property. And anything that happens to you, God is the one who's responsible. So when the, even the devil himself, he went to Job, he went to God and went to consult. Uh, when, when he went to present himself, um, when he was among the saints, he went to present himself in the presence of God. What happened? He, uh, uh, when God asked him, what, what are you doing that I'm dying to and forth and everything? Then God asked, he actually, you know what? 
Sometimes God will even permit the enemy himself will even give you option because he has built something in you. See, when God, when Job, when he came to Job, he was, he, then God said, have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered my servant Job? And God, and the Satan was the one who said that, how can I afflict Job? Eh, God, how can I afflict Job? If, in fact, Job, are you not the one that has protected him? The devil admitted it that there was a, a protection, a hall of protection on Job. Why? Because Job was connected to the vine. Job was connected to the source. So he admitted it that I cannot touch him because you have protected him. Some of you, the enemy cannot touch you because you are still connected to the vine. The enemy cannot touch you because you are connected to the source. If you disconnect yourself from, from, from the source, he's able to grab you. The only way that the devil can come and touch you when he asks for permission from God, just like the way he did to Job. And God said, God, because he had confidence in Job, he strengthened Job and he knew that Job can never be shaken. And he told God, he got to go and touch him. Job, when the devil got the permission from God, that's when he was able to touch Job. Why? Because Job was connected to the, to, to the vine. Some of you, the devil cannot touch you because you are connected to the vine. And it's up to you to decide. See, let me tell you what happened with this guy, Job. Inasmuch the devil afflicted him with everything, he lost his children and everything. Even the time he had nothing, Job had already set his standard. He knew that he cannot have anything, but he's not ready to disconnect himself from the source. Because he can lose those that he has. But if he's still connected from the source, there shall be a recovery. And even when the wife came and saw that Job was afflicted with balls and everything and everything, because again, in as much as Satan had to touch his properties, his wealth, he was unable to touch his, his wealth, his, his health. But God, again, he went back to God because God had already given him a limit that can touch everything. But he was, he was unable to touch his body. And when he went back again, they were in the presence of God. Again, God said that, have you considered my, my, my servant job? And when he said that, oh, you have, you, uh, let me touch him skin to skin. And God said, okay, you think as if I'll give you another opportunity, go and touch job again. He went and afflicted job with balls and everything and everything guess what job was separated job was on his own he lost everything his body was affected but john did job did not give up on the faith that he had with god he did not give up even when the wife came to tell to job and said that curse god and die job was like you talk like a foolish woman we uh, in everything we have to give thanks to god because he's the one who gave it to me and he's the one who get who, who can get it away from me Instead of Job cursing God, he ended up cursing the day he was born. He ended up, he did not even temper by cursing God. He was like, it's better I say this to myself, but I'm not going to curse my source. Yakato. And due to time, God had to restore. And not only restoring, because there's a difference of restoring and doubling the restoration. Job did not only recover, did not only restore. He, 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 his blessing was doubled. Because why? He, still, he was still connected to the, to the vine. He was still connected to God. He believed in himself. He believed what the word of God says. He believes in what the word of God says. Some of us, if we are Job here, we could have forsaken God. Some of us here, if we are Job, we could have cursed God. Why? Because after being righteous in his eyes, after being, and all these things are happening to us. Child of God, I came to remind you, you still have to be connected. Stay connected. Stay connected to God. Most of us here, we are too connected to, uh, I'm not saying it's wrong to be connected to men and women of God. I'm, I'm connected to, to, to men of God too. But that's not where my hope. I'm connected to Bishop, he's my dad, he's my spiritual father, Bishop blesses someone. But I know the real, co the many connection is the Lord. The many connection is God. Today man may fail me. Where am I going to run to? Today man will fail you. Most of people, we are too connected that no, if this woman of God, if this man of God run away from me, I'm dead. Oh, I cannot do it. I, my spiritual life cannot grow. Hey, this is the end of myself. Are you for real? The word of God is there. The, 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 the preachings are there. You can find time to fellowship with God. You, can, you cannot say that your life is dead when a man is disconnected to you. Because sometimes God will allow some people to disconnect themselves away from you. So that you, you can connect to him and trust him and believe in him. Who 
are you connected to? Or are you still connected to your source? The source of life. Are you still connected to God? Are you still, where are you connected yourself to most? Are you connected most to man? Or are you still connected most to God? See, when you connect yourself to God, he brings people that are going to connect to you. I know, we cannot say, you cannot establish, you cannot grow alone. God blesses man in order for man to bless man. Haven't you seen, you have come across people that are blessed, but you can, they cannot bless you. Why? Because maybe that favor is not upon your life. You have crossed it, you have shut it, because your trust is in man. instead of in God. The Bible says, curse is he that puts that trust in man. Curse is he that puts their trust in, the, in fresh. So when you trust God and believe in God, believe in what God says about your life. Exercise. Make use of the word of God. What does the word of God say? According to the situation that you're going, which scripture are you going to open it? When you're saying that you're going to die, when you see death knocking on your door, what do you say? Eh? You tell yourself, because you're connected to the vine, you're connected to life, you start telling yourself that, Father, you said I'll not die, but I'll live. And any death that is knocking on my door, it is not welcome because I know this is not my time. I can never die before my time. I'm on this earth to accomplish what you have said upon my life. I'm not here just to live, eat, and talk. But I'm here to do the work of my father. You build yourself because why you have built your capacity. You, have con you know your connection. You know who you are connected to. You know who you are connected to. When everyone is mocking at you, when everyone is speaking negative about you, how do you stand? You say that, Lord, yes, my parents can forsake me. Yes, my relatives can forsake me. But I trust in you, the Lord who never leave me, the God that will never forsake me, the Lord who's always there to watch me day and night. The Lord that says that no matter, even if your parents forsake you, even if your relatives forsake you, I I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's who I'm connected to. Who are you connected to? Are you still connected to Jesus? Are you still connected to your creator? Are you still connected to your father? Are you still connected? What, what you connect yourself to, that's what you become. That's what you produce. That's what you become. If people are connected to voodoo priests, even if they have power, because that power is fake, one day to fade. Because it's not the real power. And if you are connected to God, the blessings that you have, they add no sorrow. They are there. You are there to flourish in it. But the problem that most of the times we don't see the blessing because we don't know how to confess the word of God. We are not connected to what the word of God says. We are not connected. Most of the times we carry everything that we hear from people. No God for yourself. No God for yourself. Seek yourself. Tell God that, Father, I want to know you. I want. See, when you know God for yourself, you know God for yourself. You can never be. You you will not be deceived. When you know God for yourself, you can never be moved. Even if some things are happening around you, still remain and say, Oh God, I still believe in you. Woman of God, Rose, God bless you. Thank you so much for coming. I still believe in you. I still believe in you no matter what. You are my source. You are my hope. You are the one that I look to. I'll hold on you. Yes, right now, nobody cares about me, but I'm not going to focus on what they are saying. But what do you say? What are you saying? The Bible says, whose report are you going to believe in? Whose report are you going to believe in? Most of us, when people say that you will die, you will be like, oh, I will die. And sometimes when men say that, but because, you know, they are fake preachers. That they, are, they are real preachers, fake prophets, and real prophets. And because there is this fake prophet that is going there, and he says you are going to die. They're like, oh, no, that prophet told me I'm going to die. Ah, uh, who? Die. No, you cannot die. You tell yourself, ah, 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 ah. In fact, in fact, let me tell you, not only fake preachers, even real prophets. I'll give an example of um, Isaiah. Isaiah, in the book of Zechariah, Isaiah, the time he went to tell King uh, Zechariah, saying that you pack your house, put it in order, you are going to die. What did he do? Hey, what did he do? Zechariah went before God and said that, hey, hey, I'm not disagreeing with you. 
I know you are God. I know you are my creator. I know. Yes, Father, I know. But at the end of the day, remember me, the things that I've done. Oh, Lord. Remember me what I've done. Remember me. He was a real prophet that came to speak to him. Came to, came to speak to God. He was a real prophet that came to speak to Zechariah. Zechariah. He was a real prophet, but he refused to agree. Why? Because he knew what he believed in. He knew the God that he believed in. He said that, oh no God, remember me. Remember me the good things that I've done. Remember me. Sometimes, eh? Because we are afraid and we believe so much in the word of what man tells us who we are. That's why you find that people, let me, I'm trying to go in that scripture. My God, Rabba Suya Karagadoshe, Heterede. Ah, Jesus, oh my God, my God, my God, my. Oh, okay, okay. Nine, nine. My God, ha. This God, then. This God is too good, oh. I will worship you forever. 970. Wait, 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 wait. Da, 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 da. Okay. Mm. Uh, 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 the prophet of God. I was uh, very hungry. What, what? Hey, where is that scripture now? Hey, what's that script? I'm trying to look cleansing and everything. Da 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 I'm trying to get na 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 na. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get that scripture. My God, my God, my God, my God. Spirit, lead me when my trust is with the borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Eh, hey, sorry. I'm trying to get that scripture. Bakuri basunde rebosa tarabakiando roboso tarabasheketo. Mm. I, I, okay, if anyone knows here, please post it. Well, the time Zachariah was telling Isaiah that, ah, ah Father, eh, remember me, remember me, remember me. I know, ah, 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 this time, Lord, eh, I know the prophet has spoken, but <laughs> ah, this time it's business. Remember me. Uh, I'm trying to get it. I don't know. I'm not finding it. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. The month of one. Ah, no, 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 no. Eh. Okay, you guys, you know it now. Spirit, lead me when my trust is with the borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would come. Yeah. Okay, guys, you know it now. You know it now. Ah. Uh -uh. Okay, you should go and Google it. It's a, a, a one. Oh my God, I don't know where they. I don't know where it is. Wherever you call me, take me deeper than my feet to never wander. Hey, okay, it is well. I'm not going to kill myself. I've read it in the scripture. You should, you, you actually, you should learn to be familiar with your word of God, with the word of God. When I tell you, you go and search for it. Ah, uh, it's uh, the story about uh, uh, Zechariah. I know it's Zechariah and uh, uh, the prophet Isaiah when he came to him and said that, and said that, uh, pack your house and you would, you, 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 you die. But Isaiah, uh, Zechariah refused and said, where? I am. I went to God and said, that, "Father, remember me all my good things that I've done. Remember me, Lord. Remember me." And God says, "Ah, ah Isaiah, ah, uh, go back and tell Zachariah that, ah, uh, I've changed my mind. I've given him extra fifteen years to go and live." So, sometimes because we believe so much in what the man of God said on the man, oh, he said that I'm going to fail, oh, failure, failure, and the spirit of failure comes in your spirit, you start saying, oh, failure, 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 I'll fail, I'll fail, I'll fail, I'll fail, oh, I'll fail, I'll fail, it starts ruining inside you, it starts taking you, it starts taking, spirit of fear takes over, and later what happens? 
And later what happens? You lose your confidence. Not because my man of God, my woman of God said, we are not refusing their men. Even me myself, if I tell you something that you die, go back and say, never. I cancel death. I can't do. Father, remember me. So as a child of God, I always learn to do what go to God and build yourself in the ways of God. Go and build yourself. Know what the word of God says about it. Confess it. Speak it out. Work on it. Do what the word of God says. Hallelujah. And you'll never be shaken. You'll never be shaken. Stay connected to the vine. Stay connected to the word of God. Stay connected to what the word of God says. Stay connected to what the word of God says about you. Have faith. Build yourself in the ways of God. Build yourself. Train your spiritual man. Be in the closet. Worship, worship. Dance, 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 dance. Do whatever you want in the presence of God. That's how you build yourself. Hallelujah. So I have to let everybody go right now. I have to let everybody go because I'm going. Hallelujah. So if you are here, you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I can talk about all these things. Oh, thank you, woman of God. Rose. You know I love you. You know I love So let me tell you, that scripture is uh, Zechariah. You see, I was right. It's Zechariah 10, verse 9. Hey, let me read it. Eh? I won't kill myself. Oh. I won't kill myself. Oh. <laughs> I won't kill myself. Hey, Father, are your girl is trying now. Your girl is trying. Eh? Uh -huh. So, so here yeah, the Bible says, uh, yes, Zechariah. Okay, I can even read it from here. And I, and I will sow them among the people, and they shall further continue, and I shall live with their children and turn again. Eh, I won't kill myself. Oh. Eh, I know the scripture. Uh -uh, I know it. So, as children of God, <laughs> as children of God, Build your capacity. Build yourself. Know God for yourself. Know God for yourself. Many people, too lazy to study the word of God. Too lazy to pray. And you expect, no, they'll pray for me. No, my man of God will pray for me. In fact, you even fast for me. Where? Build yourself. So, as a child of God, I just want, I just want you to know that God loves us. And he wants us to have a direct connection with him. You know, the time Jesus came, before Christ died... Many people were able to. <clears throat> many people were able to connect themselves through a prophet, for their for for their sin to be forgiven. A prophet to go into the holy of holies, the holy of holies, to go and speak and offer sacrifice to us. But when Jesus died, that veil when he died, he said it is finished, and the veil was torn apart, meaning that we have the access to go individually and say that Father, you know, you know, last time I I I I, I fornicated. Now, Father, I'm sorry. You know, I I lied last time. I, I I gossiped. Lord, have mercy. But those days, we allow the priest to go on our behalf. But this time, that veil is torn. So that because it has given us the capacity and the ability to enter the holy of holies without without connecting ourselves to anybody. Because right now, eh, I'm just saying, some men and women of God, when you you they, you come and tell them their problem, you tell us their problem. They will expose you now. So. It's better you connect to the Father who will keep you the secret to be between you and Him. The only thing is that sometimes some of us we we fail to be real with God. Mm. Eh, I don't know. We fail to be connected to be real with God. Tell yourself, be real. Tell our Father. No, now I lied, uh, Father. Sorry, I spoke against the man of God. I'm sorry because when you talk, you don't talk or you talk. He knows that you did it. So the only thing, since you are the two of you, call yourself and tell him that, ah, uh, Father, you know, I'm lasting after that guy. I'm lasting after that man, that woman, Lord. Uh, this man, please, Father, have mercy on me. You know, I'm a human being, but I'm sorry, Father. I'm ready. Help me. But because you are connected to, I'm connected to my papa, to my uh, data, to my nada, to my auntie, my spiritual uncle, my spiritual uh, These days, they're even spiritual cousins, spiritual cousins, spiritual nieces and nephews, all these. Yeah, because of laziness to pray that, no, my spiritual cousin, nephew, niece, who pray for me. It's okay. My God, Rabba Saka Torobo Sheketo. So as a child of God, I want to tell you, I want to encourage you. Remain connected to the vine and you see yourself producing fruits that you did not even expect. Why? Because you know your source. You know why you're connected. When you know 
know. When you know your God, you will know and you will know and you will know and you will know. You will know. No matter what, even people put you down, you will know. Because you are connected to the vine. Mazagados yahata ragada yakarabasunda labasuta. I'm not saying we have to disobey men and women that God has put ahead of us because you know that I was saying something. Our, the fruit of the Holy Spirit and everything that God is doing in us, He brings people along our way to train us. If maybe, for example, you are, you, are, you, are, you are struggling from the spirit of you are not humble, God will bring people along your way to to crush your heart, to make sure they hit on you, they hit on you, and they, so that you start tolerating them, you are learning. So uh, let's, let's honor people that have gone ahead of us. Let's appreciate them. Let us uh, we, we, we celebrate them. But the whole thing, it's all about God. It's all about God. God will train us through people. Some of us, they say, no, I, I'm working for God. I'm working for God. You are working for God. You are a worker in church. You are working for God. You don't talk to people. You are a worker in church. You don't laugh with people. You are a worker in church. You don't. You're saying you are working for God. What are you working for God? Because even when you are working for God, are you not saving man? So most of us, we deceive us. I'm working for God. But you are very, you, you, you have that attitude in church. You don't smile for people. You're an usher. You just go. You are there. You are in church. You just gossip. You are. You are you are you are, you are in media. You, you you in your camera. What is you holding your camera? You know, your mouth is like mm, no one can talk to you. No, are you the one who killed Jesus? Are you the one who killed Jesus? You are upset over everything. Mm, mm, mm. We all have problems. You think when I'm doing those comments on my video on my on on my Facebook, I don't have problems. I have problems, my sister, my brother. I, I have problems too. I, there are things that I, I also go through, eh? but I will not allow this thing to. I will not kill myself. This world, eh? there are some things that I have to enjoy on this earth that I won't going to enjoy in heaven. Eh? I am not going to kill myself. Ah uh ah. -uh. So some of you that I'm, I'm connected to Jesus and you, 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 your mouth is like this. No, I'm connected to Jesus. I'm not connected to anybody. I'm connected to Jesus. Mm, well, I don't laugh with people. No, my sister, this life is short. Eh? Even if you live one day and something, it, it, it's too short. So what am I saying? Connect yourself to the, to, to the, to the vine. You never be shaken. You never be moved. I, uh, uh, and I just bless God for your life. So you are here. I have to go. My time is up. You are here. You have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. You know, it's good to laugh, to preach, come together, talk, uh, and everything. You have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I can preach about being connected, being fruitful, and everything. But if your life is not set with God, my dear all these things is nothing so i want you to open up your heart or oh, you have been a believer you have not you have been a christian you have been a christian and you have not been able to live a life that pleases god i want you to open your life go it's never too late you can still make things right with god he's looking for you and me that maybe we have gone astray and but we are ready to come to come back to god you can never be fruitful but uh, uh, you can never be fruitful if you do not set yourself right before God. You can never be fruitful if you are not connected to God. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Or you have said they have accepted but your lifestyle doesn't connect to that. You can never be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray with me this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Sorry, please forgive me for every sin that I've committed. I've sinned against you and against this word. I admit it. And right now, I believe in the cross. I believe that you died for, on the cross for me. And you rose for the sake of my freedom. I accept you, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. From now on, I am born again. I am saved. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So if you have prayed that prayer, welcome to the body of Christ. We love you so much. We, we and some of my fellow brothers here, actually we are now brothers and sisters. Some of them are born again. They are saved, Holy Ghost filled. We love you and we celebrate you. We celebrate you and keep the fire burning. If you have any question to ask, please inbox me. Eh? inbox me and if you are here if there's something that i mentioned and you're not really clear about it just inbox me whether you are my fellow sister and brother we are here to train each other inbox me i'll answer you by the go by god's grace and um what else i love you guys you know that i love you you know you know, you know that i i love you ah your girl yvette here loves you now Cha. Dokas, god bless you man of god and
Mandela says, God bless you, amen, woman of God. Mercy, God bless you. To, uh, uh, I am blessed today. That's right. Hallelujah. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Woman of God, Rosie, God bless you. Priscilla, God bless you. My P. Hallelujah. Rabba Suta Rabba Kianda Rabba Sa. Who else? Who else? I'm trying to scroll down. Felicia, God bless you. Chris, God bless you. Who else? I'm trying. Sherry, God bless you. My God. Oh, no, no, no. I know I'm not going to scroll everyone. Um, Diana Dantes, God bless you. I think that's what my... And others, God bless you. You know that I love you. You know, you, 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 you know, heaven, heavenly, God bless you. Ah, you guys, God, okay, all of you, all of you in general, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you all. So stay connected. Don't say these things of like, no, no, I'm not going, if you to pray for me, where? I, I'm also praying for myself, eh? I'm also praying myself. So stay connected to the vine. I love you and keep the fire burning. See you on Monday the same time hmm. you see because let me tell you one thing because you know uh we are in quarantine period right so I, i've even learned how to tie some things no saloon no one is ready to tie, to hold your hair no one is ready to tie your hair so what do we do we, we also we become hairdressers by ourselves now so but i but this thing look nice i know some of you though you cannot say it's okay it, it's okay i'm i'm not complaining it's fine so we have learned to also have quarantine hair because so we are hiding the hair we are quarantining the hair we, we since people don't want to touch our hair they don't want to hold our hair also quarantined so nevertheless i still look fresh ha! fresh girl so <laughs> go ahead if you okay if you you say that i'm not looking fresh bust if you want bust if you can bust if you don't <laughs> bust now Ah, eh, boss. Gina, how are you? God bless you. You came late. You should go and listen to this video. You'll be blessed. <laughs> so, God bless you guys. You know, I can't leave this. I, I'll be late. I, I'm late. So, bye bye and keep the fire burning. Stay safe and pray. Remain connected to the vine. So, stay safe. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. So, remember to quarantine yourself. God bless you.